to have long hair. My grandma is super conservative. She's 95 years old. She's still alive. Nobody wants that, but she's here. And like, I went home and I was hanging out with her. She's worn out her welcome. Quite honestly. Nice lady. We're all sick of her shit. Uh, I went home for Christmas, Thanksgiving. We're, we had a nice meal. And we're all sitting down in the living room trying to enjoy each other's company. And my grandma just out of nowhere is like, you know, I just don't like the way everybody's on their phones all the time. Bah, bah, bah. Nobody interacts and looks each other in the eye and has a conversation anymore. And we're all like, fuck you, Grandma. <laughs> and then, I swear to God, within the next five minutes, she passed out and was snoring in her chair. I'm like, yeah, way to interact with this fuckface. <laughs> Great conversation we're having with you, hypocrite. She hasn't had a job my whole life. <laughs> my life! She's never worked a day. My grandpa died a few months before I was born. She's been collecting social security and renting out the farm ever since. She hasn't lifted a finger to do shit. Do you know how many times she's yelled at me to get a job? <laughs> oh! Runs all over me. It's like, you go, you go get a job! Sucking the government's tits? Is that where you get your money? Is the government? Go fuck yourself, Granny. Get over yourself. Greatest generation, my ass. Collecting money from the gut. Tell me to get a job. Fucking lazy piece of shit. Yeah, why don't you croquet something? Go make us all some fucking Afghans nobody wants. Get that shit out of here. Go be productive. Start a meth lab, grow some weed, do something. Start turning a profit, Granny. We got a farm. You're not doing shit with it. She's a wonderful lady. She's the sweetest old woman I've ever met. And I just shit all over her. 